To sum up, here's what you missed last week. The biggest mall in Namibia, the Grove Mall in Kleinekopper, finally opened its doors on Thursday. And of course, I went to go check it out. And while it's not quite ready, only about 50% of the stores are open, none of the restaurants are open yet, and neither is the cinema. So if you are thinking of heading over, I would advise to wait at least another three weeks until they're actually finished. You're not missing out on anything yet. Once the mall is complete, it'll be awesome, as it has that snazzy, high-end vibe. But as I said, give them a few more weeks to clear out the dust and the boulders before you make your trip out there. To read my full review and to see some photos of the mall, you can visit my blog on journalofacitygirl.com. It was Crazy Colour Festival last Saturday, and it was awesome! I unfortunately wasn't able to stay long, but for the few hours I was there, I thought the event was really well organised, and it was a pumping party. Anyways, coming up this week, on Wednesday at 6pm, the German national rugby team will be in Namibia for a friendly match against the Valvichias at the United Sports Grounds in Olympia. Fans of both teams are invited to watch, and tickets are only $15 Namibian dollars from CompuTicket. Also happening on Wednesday night at 6.30pm is the screening of the Oscar award-winning film Gravity at FNCC. Gravity stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney and is filled with suspense as basically Sandra floats around space and encounters many near-death experiences throughout the film. This coming Friday is Halloween and surprisingly there's quite a few parties happening. So if you're in the mood for dressing up, check out some of the events. For the first time, Coco Cabana at Commas Grove Mall will host a costume contest party starting at 8pm. There will be prizes for best and scariest costumes. You need to get tickets in advance and they're 18 Namibian dollars. Vintage Bar and Grill in Olympia are hosting a Halloween party starting at 7pm. So dress up and join Namibian DJs Elmer Strauss and DC Boys and they'll also be awarding the title of Best Costume for 2014. Halloween in 061 at Dillon's. Enjoy a night with Safe 19 and Famous Attack live at Dillon's. Dress the part and only pay 20 Namibian dollars at the door. For those who don't, entrance is then 40 Namibian dollars. Club London and South- Southern Industrial Area are hosting Jägermeister London Massacre Party. The party starts at 8 pm and entrance is 40 Namibian dollars. If you're in a costume, and 60 Namibian dollars if you're not. And obviously, there'll be specials on Jägermeister all night. Johnny Clegg is coming to Namibia. The internationally acclaimed artist will be performing two exclusive acoustic shows with his four-piece band at the Warehouse Theatre on Friday 31 October and Saturday 1 November. Tickets are $595. The Fashion Council of Namibia and Pambile Young Designers presents a merge fashion show on Friday 31st of October at 7pm at FNCC. The Emerge Fashion Show will showcase an array of Namibian fashion designers. The show is a platform for young and established Namibian designers to showcase their work to the Namibian market. Tickets are $150 in advance or $170 at the door. With this amount of events going down this weekend, there is no reason to be bored. Remember to visit whatsonvintook.com for a comprehensive list of events and happenings in the city. Celeb News! On Monday night, Renee Zellweger made an appearance on the red carpet for the first time in ages. And wow, did the 45-year-old star look a bit different. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. If you haven't seen the photos yet, go and see for yourself. Let me know what you think. On Monday night, famous Hollywood designer Oscar de la Renta passed away at the age of 82. He's most famously quoted for saying, Walk like you have three men walking behind you. A.K.A. put a little swagger in your step. And finally on Tuesday, the whole media circus that was the Oscar Pistorius trial was over when he was finally sentenced to five years in jail. His lawyers said he has to sit a minimum of 10 months in prison before he can apply for parole and then he can be put under house arrest, potentially. So only time will tell how the next chapter will play out. As always, until next week, keep safe and keep hashtagging your event pics. Hashtag what's on Bintook.